someone. You are an ex-trade depot. This must be where the merchants are. You are an ex-trade depot. This must be where the merchants' wares are being kept. The depot is well guarded. The order has a stake in these stocks. Seized exotic wares. These are worth plenty. Something that could be on the Red Hand's agenda. Accumulating wealth. The sting of a needle. I'm on his trail. So the dog master seizes cargo and resells it through merchants in the marketplace. The ones involved wear black cloths. I may be able to get their attention by showing some silver around the marketplace. Coppergate market. I'll flash some silver to the merchants that should get their attention. friend i have a haul of silver that will sink my ship can you help me spend it keep it down would you you'll get yourself killed for him like that especially around here what good is a market if i cannot sniff around its stalls eager to spend my gains you want to let go of your silver try the narrow alleys now be gone <laughs> I hear this marketplace sees its fair share of silver pass through. I have something that may interest you. You will want to speak to Grigori. The Dark Master. Sorry, who are you? Someone who wants to do business with Grigori. I don't know your face, and I've said too much already. Please, go. Psst. Did I hear you talking about silver? I'm looking to spend a large sum, not fork it over to some street beggar. Oi! I'm no beggar, you dolt. I'm with the big dogs. You mean the needle? You have something he wants. If you truly want to make a trade, head to the statue near the east gate. I shall. Watch yourself around here, young one. Who, me? <laughs> Please, I've a bigger sword than a lot of them. Hey, friend. I have a hoard of silver I'm aching to spend. Can you help me? What have you got? I have nothing left to trade, but Coppergate Market is the right place. Ask around. You'll find someone who'll bend an ear. My thanks.
We should be cautious around here. The sound of metal. The workshop in the sewers. What is the needle's operation? Melting the silver into bars and coins. What do they plan on doing with it? I'm promising you silver next week! I'm not surprised to find you creeping down here. You! You don't belong down here! We run a clean dock in Jorvik. I believe those were your words. And yet here I find you swimming in silver from all the wares you seized. Are you the Needle, or just another of his pawns? You have it all wrong. The fabric of this world has been used up, torn. Shredded, you see. Someone must be there to stitch it back together. Someone with a firm yet steady hand who can thread a needle. Someone like me. You're a shit poet, but at least my question is answered. <laughs> yes, well, we all have our weaknesses. Yours appears to be the iron between us. Think your men are going to stop me? I would not undermine them so. The Red Hand are loyal to our cause, which is more than I can say for the merchants. Make it quick! Meet me in the marketplace when you are done! What? We are sick down and peace in you! Walk with me. It is good to walk. <laughs> Gregory! Good to take in the air. The sights, the sounds, the smells. Please, Gregory, I, 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 I didn't think you'd mind. It was just a few coins. Shh, 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 shh. I understand. It's not your fault. It was mine for thinking you had anything but empty air between your ears. With all the silver I've given you, I have nothing left to feed my children, let alone myself. Please, understand. Oh, dear God. Merchants of Jorvik, I promised you a future rife with opportunity. And what was the one thing I asked in return? Do you remember? Loyalty. Loyalty! Let this serve as a lesson, should any of you think it a good idea to threaten my operation. Best not to draw attention here. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. 
Edward transcend. Edge perfini. It's funny. As a child, I thought of snow as the tears of God, frozen by our sins. Weak with hunger, I stared into the sky, hoping it was me he wept for, me he sought to save. But God did not save me. The vault did. He took me to a fine house, gave me hearty meals, a warm bed. For the first time, someone extended a hand showed me kindness, compassion. And it was then that I made a vow. I vowed to never turn my back on he who was there for me when God was not. So you serve the vault, knowing full well what he was a part of. The Order made our paths intersect. I owed them a debt, and I repaid it by saving this city from its own destruction. A life debt is a strong motivator. It took hold of this one's Hugard, drove it, and never let go. Yet not with the same compassion you were shown. Too many have suffered by your hand in pursuit of this course. You're right. Perhaps I deserve this death. But I am but one cog in a large wheel. One that still turns unhindered. Not for long. Where you have gone, there'll be no tears waiting for you. Yeah. <laughs> 
Lee. He can't hear you. Passed out cold. She's right. You can tell by the pool of piss around his ankles, see? He won't come to for a while. It's all right. We'll wait. That way he can watch while we skin you. Never mind, Eva. Stay asleep. Sleep. Oh, it's you. Two again. Bent over the barrel of another adventure, I see. This is his fault. I told him they looked like bandits, but he insisted on cheating them out of coin. We need to leave. Some of them went to fetch firewood. They will be back any moment. There's no we in this. Your brother, your problem. What? No, please. Look at him. He is dead weight. Dead weight soon. You should hurry. If I have to carry him, we will never make it out of here alive. Please! Your brother is lucky I like you. There may not be much between your ears, but you're not the problem here. Thank you. <clears throat> this way! Think again, Saxon filth. There is no besting these sons of Ragnar. Soon the world will know us by name. A sleep talker. Just what I needed. See this? Do you see it? This blade was forged by Grundle. Grundle Thundersmith. Greatest of all blacksmiths. One nick? And your life essence will shoot out of you like a gazer from the depths of Norway. You laugh. Am I a joke to you? Do I look like a jester? That is what I thought. You will think again before laughing behind my back. No one laughs at me. No one. Cast him aside when this is done. For your sake. You can put him down. There they are! Ah! Damn it! Look! There! Stay close to me. This is where we part ways. Yes. My... my thanks. Thank you. Stop thanking me and listen closely. This life does not suit you. There are people out there who would kill you over these petty squabbles. This I have realized. If your idiot brother hatches another one of his glory-seeking plans, take your fist and slam it right between his eyes. Or better yet, punch him in his cock. He will listen. Punch his cock. Yes. That should get the point across. Thank you. Uh, 
You will never see us again. Good. Deceive me. You are the wolf kissed, are you not? Come, come. Greetings, Bart. That face, that scowl. Yes, indeed, you must be the wolf kissed. Oh, your fame and generosity are well known to me. You have a flatterer's tongue, Bart. But how do you know me? The deeds of the great are but stuck in trade. The brave are wealthy, the wealthy are brave. So it goes. How about it, Eivor the Wanderer? Part with a queen's ransom and live on in immortal song? Silver comes and silver goes, but the fame of the great endures. Both wise and generous, truly you are history's mightiest champion. Now, hold tight while my muse inspires me. From beyond the well roads, from history unknown, did the Norse take a stand, and now all must atone. Now comes Ava of the ravens with the sun for eyes, trailing a river of blood enough to paint the skies. 
Succumb to your fate with a kiss. A blade to your throat, the wolf's fangs to your shins. For the one blessing and the one curse is to meet the wolf kiss. Your kennings are weak. However, you make up for it with your clever tongue. Tis the fate of a bard such as I. We give and we give and we get nothing back. So it goes. Farewell, generous champion. From beyond the well roads, from history unknown, did the Norse take a stand, and now all must atone. Oh, go. Let it.
We're off. Let the sail out! Let her. Cast about this land, my friend.
There's nowhere left to go. Please, don't hurt me. Why are you here alone? I remain with my family. The withering is taking them, but I do not wish to abandon them. The withering? A disease that often goes unnoticed until it is too late. The whole village had it. It destroys the mind and heightens aggression in an individual. And ultimately, the poor soul is rendered catatonic. Leave here, child. Your family will soon go, and this village has nothing for you. But, Papa! Mama! They will find peace and death. Live for them. They would want that. I... I... <laughs> You're right. I cannot hold on any longer, so what is already lost. I will go. Here, a key. If I'm to leave, I can't... This town leaves behind a bitter legacy, but such is the way of this world. My head, it swims. Pharaoh. No! A demon. Hmm. A list of names. Ages. All killed by a plague. The witless stench. They've endured much, it seems. of limits.
Farewell, the trolls are waiting. are polished and prepared if you wish to dance. Hail, warrior. You keep this estate? I do. I'm Gottfried Fairrobe, celebrated Drenger of the great heathen army, trusted golden helm of Ragnar Lothbrok. I intend a clean and honorable battle as my days grow old and rotten. I wish to keep myself dignified in my death rattle. Your upkeep is impressive. My war garments are unblemished, well-groomed, and pristine. Ragnar taught me self-respect when we summered here. A clean conscience, unblemished oaths, and immaculate loyalty are of higher value than any well-dusted piece of armor. A resonant thought. Now, will you oblige me? An honorable and clean battle is all I ask for now. May Odin visit us in this dance. Let us fight. Prepare your garb for a last drenching of raven wine. I shall only use the sharpness, only the purest. Ah, uh, my wounds bleed clean. Thank you for this last song of well-wrought iron and immaculate blows. Go to your shining, flawless victory. Farewell, honorable Dringer.